Hades is a very, very special place. Well, there's probably about nine acres right here in this square. We have a 19 hole miniature golf course, remote control boats. We have animals up here. We have several gift shops, creeks, waterfalls, gardens. Uh, and then of course you have the restaurant itself. It's just a uh, family environment. A lot of families bring their kids here for memories. They create a lot of memories here, uh, especially during Christmas time. Are you guys ready to see the light show? Yeah! I love this. I love this. Right away, you just notice the expansiveness of how many lights. There's over a million lights. In the whole place, usually we put up around a million lights. Last year, when we did the Great Light Fight, I put up 1.3 million. We go all out for Christmas. We start putting up Christmas lights the second week of August. When we're running at full capacity, I have about 10 people on my crew. We pretty much constantly put up lights Starting in August, uh, we start doing lift work. We not only do regular trees, we do big trees. This tree right here has uh, got what they call our snow tubes in it, which is just a tube with LED lights that, that starts at the top and streams to the bottom. It looks like snow falling in front of headlights on a car. That's what it does at nighttime, is what it looks like. I've got trees that's got uh, 12,000 lights and more in them. Uh, I've got some trees that has their own meters at the bottom. And it's got a lot of uh, ornaments in it that we've made covered in lights, like them big round ones up there, them are hula hoops. We've got some over here that are hanging baskets turned upside down. And then we got uh, like beach balls that uh, you got lights around. We've had people come all over the world to come to Patty's. Last year, Patty's did about 54,000 people in the month of December. If you took all of our extension cords and you plugged them all together, they would probably stretch about six miles. So there's a, there's a lot of extension cords. All of my lights go through Intermac timers. Uh, I have about uh, 64 timers out here that run lights. Uh, and about 40 of them are just strictly Christmas lights. Uh, I have some of them that's on pumps for waterfalls. Uh, I have some that's on security lights and stuff like that. But all of them are Intermac timers, all of them. This has been here ever since I've been here. It's, it was put in when this gazebo was built, and this gazebo was built back uh, probably 93, 94. I've tried other timers. I don't like them. They last about a year, and then they, especially out in the weather, they go blank. And if you can get it back on, you gotta go find the instructions to reset it. I don't like that. The Intermac timers are very simple. They're durable. They're easy to maintain. They are easy to work on. And they're just, they last forever. You know, I've got timers here that I've had in, uh, going for 30 years. This right here is one of our oldest timers. It was put in right after the building was completed. This building was built in uh, at the very end of the 80s. So that's 30 years old. I've got some that are outside that I've had for 25 years or longer. These right here are some of my old ones too. This chapel has been here for a while too. It's, these timers were probably 22, 23 years old. They're easy to change out. Like I said, they're easy to maintain. I wouldn't use anything else. And I never will use anything else as long as I'm manager here at Patty's. Uh, that's what I love about these things. They last a long, long time outside, but they'll last even twice as long if you got them inside the building, because then you dirt and weather don't get to them and stuff like that. We have before opened one and it'd be full of ants outside. And you just shake it out, spray a little cleaner back there behind it, get all the ants out of it, put it back in there, and she keeps right on going. I love that. I know the timers will be here after I'm gone. You know, I know that because they was here before I got here. It's kind of what I call a no-brainer, <laughs> you know. And I, I love them because they are so easy to work on and I don't ever have no problems with them. Especially if you're dealing with Christmas lights at home. I know if you have uh, an Intermac timer set up in your house, it's gonna come on. If you want a timer that is gonna last and one that is pretty much maintenance free, then get a 
Dinermatic timer. More than likely they'll outlast you. They just keep right on going. If you want a good timer that's going to last, then you get one of them and you'll be glad you did.